Hello and welcome to Africa Today. I am Esther Omokwariola. It is that time of the year when millions of people across Africa and around the world get a chance to celebrate one of the most important holidays on the Islamic calendar and reflect on the values of obedience and sacrifice. But with 178 days to Nigeria's general election, politics is more or less a religion with a total of 91 political parties set to jostle for the heart and soul of a more conscious electorate at the ballot. And so we ask, what are your thoughts on the number of political parties in Nigeria, the implication for the nation's democracy, and the opposition politics ahead of the 2019 poll? You can join the conversation and share your thoughts with us on Twitter at TVC News NG. We take a report and Africa Today will be right back. Welcome on board. The Independent National Electoral Commission last week officially began the countdown to the 2019 general election with the release of election notification last week. Political parties are strategizing to put up a good showing during the exercise. The Action Democratic Party held a Southwest Stakeholders Forum in Lagos to review its plans for the 2019 election. The national chairman and other key chieftains of the party across the country were present at the meeting. The national chairman, Alaji Yabagi Sani, explains why the party will not go into alliance with any political party. We are looking for people that we know are committed to put, to take this country to the next level. That's why we opted, opted out of that coalition. And look at the coalition. Tell me who is there that has not been rejected before by Nigerians. Tell me. There's none of them. So this is why we must now come out you know, and give Nigerians that credible alternative. That's what we represent. Mr. Babatudek Badamosi, a governorship aspirant of the party in Lagos State, vowed to rescue Lagos State from the stronghold of the All Progressive Congress. As a political party, the ADP has had enough of the oppression. I'm here to tell you that there is a sanctuary for your political aspirations, and that sanctuary is the ADP. Our primaries are going to be conducted in an open, fair, and transparent way. It's going to be a general primary where every card-carrying and financial member of the party will get to vote. The Action Democratic Party, which was registered last year, is reaching out to credible Nigerians to challenge the APC in the 2019 election. Before we get into the discussion of the day, let's update you on some of the top news stories around Africa. A total of 46 candidates, including the incumbent president and his two predecessors, are seeking to contest Madagascar's presidential polls at the end of the year. The U.S. military says it has carried out an airstrike in Somalia against Al-Shabaab extremists, killing two fighters. Zimbabwe's MDC alliance have told the court that there were massive cover-up and doctoring of evidence as it tries to get President Nangagwa's election victory overturned. Now joining me to look at the party politics in Nigeria, I have Joe Ibukwe, State Publicity Secretary of the Ruling All Progressives Congress in Nigeria. I also have Adewale Bolaji, State Chairman, Action Democratic, Con Democratic Party. Good to have you both on the program. Good evening. Good evening. Now let me begin with you now, Joey Bukwe. Already they have, we have about 91, 91 political parties in Nigeria and so many are saying this is more or less a confusion <laughs> for the electorate as we start. But what are your thoughts first off on the multiplicity of political parties in Nigeria today? Well, my problem is that, um, okay, there's nothing wrong in having political parties. I've just try to read up what is happening in the UK, what is happening in America, what is mm. happening in South Africa. South Africa has 13 political associations, so mm. political parties, um, size of South Africa. Then um, America, the social, the, the Democrats and the, and the Republicans, and then now you have the Libertarian Party, you have um, the Constitution Party, and then the Green Party. In UK, you just have the Labour and the Conservatives, and then plus three other parties. So mm. you can imagine, ninety-one. What is the motive? What is the motive? You tell is me. Is it to serve, or 
<laughs> because when was um, APC, probably PDP. I don't know if you put the the 89 together, whether they can they can muster uh, 500,000 votes in 2019 and house. Because so, the motive, I think, is money. It's not about serving. Really? Ego, you think so? Ego. You know, let me just have mm. a political party. I can be the chairman. Even when you are, you don't chairman anything. You don't share anything. You know. You see, it's better for you to be, to be a supervisor of something than a managing director of nothing. That's what I see. Because just me and my wife party. So Wives and saying, husbands parties. So and their, their target. Okay, no, I, I get your point. So are you saying that INEC didn't do its homework well in terms of registering this additional party? No, I'm not saying that though. <laughs> you should register. <laughs> if they apply, you register. It's mm -hmm. not, uh, I understand about 130 of them applied. 144. 144. And it took about 23 of them mm -hmm. to join the 68 that we have to give us 91. You cannot stop with their democratic rights, you know, to get to form a political associations mm. and form political parties, you know. Uh, whatever they do with the party, I don't know. But I know that the motive, some of them, majority of them, is just, you know, during elections, you know, money are given to political parties. But some so, are saying that perhaps this party is to give away from the usual norm or usual practice where you have only two, three political parties and you have no choice, you know, on what to pick when the elections come. So when we have you know, diverse number of political parties, mm. it's more or less giving room for democratic choices, as, mm. we, as, we, as you put it. That's so you don't, you're, not, you're not left <laughs> with one particular kind of party that has been there for maybe like 16 years. So you have different parties that can represent mm. your ideals, so to speak. Where are the structures? Where are the offices? How many of them? I've just said wives and husbands in a party. Some, some, some names you see there are members of the existing political parties. It's just for when the election comes, they just drop money for preparations, you know, because they give political parties money. The target is that money every four years and nothing more. Mm. I have just told you, if you remove APC and probably PDP, if you organize elections today, they can't not, 89 of them, 89 of them cannot get half a billion votes. Mm. All is, right. is that bad? It's not bad. <laughs> the motive is not to win elections. Mm. You can see a party that is just coming up yesterday. They will say this is their presidential candidate. He has no, there's nobody in the world. There's nobody in the local government. There's nobody in the state. How? How? They are making look, America as big as All it's right, point taken five, five political parties in Let's the Let's get the thoughts of Adewale Balaji. Mm -hmm. Adewale, from what his, uh, uh, Joe Ibukwe just put forward, it's more like, you know, selfish you know, interest, so to speak, from his own analogy. But you are a member of the ADP. What is the ideology of your party? Is it different from the PAC? From the PAC? Well, ADP, Action Democratic Party as a party, is uh, very, very different from the other political parties we've had in Nigeria, especially the old ones. And um, our ideology is uh, to form an all-inclusive government, to make life better for Nigerians, to have everybody, especially the young ones of this country, to come and take over the ruling and government of these people for themselves, not waiting for one money bag or one old minister or president to share peanuts to them. We want the young ones, just like uh, what is happening all over the world, to take over the government, to come on board, be contest for elections to the governorship level, to the House of Reps and House of Representatives and Senate, all the elective positions, so that they can take control of their own lives and uh, rule the country as young people. Hmm. Is it just taking over the present government? Because that seems to be the narrative of most political parties. What exactly are you bringing to the table that will make Nigerians believe that ADP is a party that has the interest of the people? Well, from what has been happening lately, you realize that uh, ADP stands out and ADP has refused to join the bandwagon of just wanting to to win election by force 
by someone, you know, alliances or groupings or whatever you want to call it. ADP has refused to be that. We, want, we stand out on our own and we are unique and uh, we want to show Nigerians that politics should be played the right way it should be played. And we want to show the young ones that this is a party that wants to give them the chance, the opportunity to actualize their dreams and to actually take this country to greater heights. And how long has your party been in existence, if I would ask you that question? ADP as a party was registered in June 2017. We are over a year old. And saying that to people, that would, be, would sound unbelievable, you know, judging by what ADP as a party has been able to achieve and the grounds we have covered. The grounds you've covered includes what entirely? In terms of mobilization, in terms of membership, Okay. in all the states of the Federation. We, ADP, is the third force that we are talking about now. We, we, well, I'm, we're trying to understand, you know, what it is, the ADP is, because it, it's different for you to say, okay, yes, you're an you know, association of young people, you have the interests of the people at heart, and all whatnot, the usual rhetoric that, that we usually hear almost on a daily basis. What is it that your party is doing, for instance, to bring electorates to vote for you? Because right now we have a little number of uh, voters that have you know, taken up their PVCs, for instance. INEC is saying that not all who have registered have collected their PVCs. So what is your party doing to you know, intimate voters, even though it is left for INEC to register or to, to, to uh, mobilize voters to go collect their PVCs. As a political party, what are you doing to you know, mobilize voters so they can know that they, this is their right, not just to tell them, okay, we are here to represent your wishes at the, at the elections when it comes and also you know, be a better government in power. What are you doing? What practical step are you taking to bring the electorate forward? Yes, thank you very much. For the past three months, ADP has been, has been involved in sensitizing the people to really get out of their shells and register as voters. We have been campaigning and canvassing all over Nigeria, especially in Lagos State, and uh, that could be seen from the activities of our youth, young ones, we call them the youth you know, uh, group. They have been going all about the local governments in Lagos State, sensitizing people, uh, distributing flyers, to educate and sensitize people, telling them where to get registered, the various local government offices where INX are doing registration. We have been doing that religiously, and we have not relented. We are still continuing until the end of the exercise. That's everybody, even on radio, we've been on jingles, we've been on TV, we've been everywhere trying to sensitize Nigerians as to their right to register and that registering is a civic duty and they just have to have their PVCs. All right, let's quickly hold your thought now. We need to go on a very quick break. You're watching Africa Today and we're looking at party politics in Nigeria ahead of the 2019 elections. According to Section 40 of the 1999 Constitution, individuals have the right to freely associate, form, or belong to any political party, trade or association to protect their interests. Politicians seem to be fully exploiting this liberal disposition to the fullest at a time when many believe the parties are mostly made up of members hungry for power but deficient in ideology. So now, Joey Bukwe, before now, we were discussing, you know, 91 political parties. So many Nigerians have to choose. But your party, the APC, some have said it hasn't delivered the change that we so desired in 2015. But let me ask you this. What is the ruling party doing wrong that it hopes to correct in 2019 if it plans to return to power? Now, let me digress a bit on how APC came to the fore. Right. Before I tell you what we want to do for those new parties coming up. You know, the story of APC, mm -mm. you know, it took us, the progressives, almost 32 years to get to where we are today. 32 years. We tried in 1993 with SDP and failed. Not that we failed. We got, Abiola got elected. 
and we lost. Abdullah was killed, and all that. You know, many other people were killed, and we lost. When Abdullah was killed, we lost it. We started afresh again. In 1991, from AD, we formed AD, AD to AC, AC to SEN, SEN, and with other parties, we formed APC. And you see where we are today. Can they wait for 32 years? I mean, this new parties, that's by the way. APC is not doing badly. But those who brought down this country will not want to see that. You think so? They will not want to see that. They don't want to hear about it. Their problem is how do we, how do we get back? How can we survive another eight, not four years of APC? We'll all die. They are hitting their heads against the wall. They, are, they don't know how to go about it. But there's nothing they can do. APC is here to fix this country, and they are fixing it. As I speak to you, all the grounded national institutions are coming up. Hmm. Grounded national institutions. I'm talking about, about Jokuta, I'm talking about Nigerian Airways. I'm talking about Naipost. I'm talking about all the abandoned projects. Second Niger Bridge, the roads, the Gossibar Expressway. Major roads, you know, in Nigeria. Major, major trunk A roads in Nigeria. Mm. In Ugu Potakot, in Ugu Anisha, you know, they are tackling this head on. But to those who are used to plundering and stealing from the national till, may not, they don't even want to look at that side. But they are it, angry. Okay. They don't want to believe you. They don't want to look even to see if you put up, they, won't be able, they don't want to read it. You see, it's, it's just like taking a baby. Yes. <laughs> taking I a baby. That, you know, taking the bottles away from a baby. You know, has, yeah. has done some things that... Not, not some things. Well, major okay. landmarks. According to you... Some people but have refused to say it. And there's nothing you can do about yes, it. Yes, we know that, all yeah. of that. But the nutshell of it all is that most Nigerians say that they are not better off in terms of economy, mm -hmm. in terms of when you go to the market, in terms of what you purchase with your ordinary 100 of 200 naira. It's not like when it was eight years ago, 10 years ago, and all of that. Now things are more expensive in the local market. So what is the APC doing in regards to that? Because if you cannot feed a common man, you know, with a little sum of money, you get, we get your infrastructure and everything, fine. Mm -hmm. But what, what, are you, what are you doing <clears throat> to for the common man on the street who feel that the APC isn't doing enough? Mm -hmm. You see, we have to differentiate between the common man you're talking about mm. and those who are working and those that are not working. First, government does not share money. Government, government cannot begin to go from house to house to share money. What government do is to provide infrastructure, build institutions, that will arm the people. Like government is investing massively in agriculture, in rice production to stop rice importation that takes us billions, billions of dollars every year. Nobody's seen that there's a massive revo revolution in rice production in this country. And people must, you know, when I go out there, people, hey, we are suffering. And I ask them, what do you do for a living? What do you do for a living? You see, Joy Bukwe today, Joy Bukwe, look at them, then the government. Do you know my story? Do you know how I got to this stage? You see, you cannot repair a damage done in 60 years. We all saw it in three years or in four years. But APC has made humongous progress. But if I that some people refuse to see it, but we will continue to talk about it. Government will not come to the street of Lagos and begin to share money on the street of Abuja and begin to share money to people. You have to, you have to know what you're doing to earn a living. Okay. You know, thousands and millions of people depend on this stolen money. You know, when somebody steals billions, like they stole this east-west east -west major road, mm. they stole. That contract had been awarded four times or five Okay, times. we'll come back All to that. All the money was taken away. People share this money. And we'll it goes We'll come back to down. that, Joey mm. Let's, let's leave that at, for now. Adewale, yes, you know, please. So much the people are expecting in 2019. And from what you said, you know, the party is just barely a year. And, you know, you seem to have found your way among the people. Now, are you confident? How confident is the ADP that it will garner the vote it needs in 2019? Well, ADP is very confident because our strength lies with the people. Let me just digress a little bit. Talking about having 91 political parties in Nigeria. I think the reason behind that is the fact that uh, the ruling party has failed. 
and the one before them too failed. I think he's talking about the PDP and the APC. They have both failed. That is why you see people you know, running to register because they want avenue. Had it been that APC performed, because everybody rallied around APC for change in 2015, and uh, we were all disappointed. Assuming they have performed creditably well, there will be no need for anybody rushing to register any political party. In fact, the reason ADP came about was because they failed and we need to you know, have a platform where Nigerians can really believe they don't have trust in APC again, they don't have trust in PDP again, and ADP presents itself as a credible alternative for Nigerians because that's why we are even refusing to fall, go into any alliance with any of these uh, 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 groups, any of these parties, mm. because we stand on our own and ADP has a chance of getting this country back on track. And that's exactly what we are doing. We are mm. sensitizing the people, making them realize that they just have to play politics the way it should be played by coming into ADP because everything we do in ADP is transparent. There's no godfather. There is no money bag. We are the people and we are determined to make sure that this Nigeria, I mean, this country becomes great again. Mm. So that is our, our Indeed. Goal. But Joey Bukwe, you know, from what he just pointed out, he said the APC has failed Nigerians. Do you agree with him? I will always say it's a figment of his own imagination. People really? will always tell you that. Mm. But we've come a long way. What, what I'm, you know, what I'm looking at is, is whether he'll whether he be capable of going the whole hog. Because in the next one year, I, I want to know where ADP will be. I want to know. If people cannot see, there's nothing you can do about it. But APC is building this nation big time. Big time. But they will not see it. If you are, if you are used to easy money, stolen money, you will not, you will not like this government. No, we like this. You will so, not like so this much government. confidence you have for the APC, you know, because that's what, you know, you, it's your party. We yes. agree. You're mm. really confident about the APC for 2019. But then again, there's this issue of corruption, because mm. this is one thing that your party canvassed mm -hmm. in dealing with in 2015. Mm. Yes. 2018, we still see, we're still faced with corruption, mm. you know, in our country. Yeah. And it is said that even in the corridors of the APC themselves, mm. Corruption still persists mm. and nothing is being done to arrest those corrupt individuals. Mm. It's more like dining with corrupt individuals and yet painting itself as the saint. So what is the party doing to correct that? Because it's, it's, it's not a tea party when you're talking about handling corruption. You have to go the whole hog. Yes. So what is the APC doing with regards to that? Anybody who wants to fight corruption in this country is just like, it looks as if that person wants to commit suicide. But we're doing it. How? We have taken their money, stolen money, billions. They are not arguing. They are not arguing. They just take this money, please leave me alone. I don't want to go to jail. You have seen people jailed. Former governors. You saw their houses confiscated. You saw their cars. What else do you want? Okay, you think corruption will just vanish overnight? No, some people have lived with it for 30 years. It has become part of them to eat government money. Prosolo Ede of Jam just came in in 2015. In 2016, they delivered 7.8 billion. They couldn't do it in six years with PDP. They couldn't, they only gave government 50 million. In six years, so some civil servants must have stolen close to 35 billion. Go to Abuja and see their houses. Mm. Somebody whose salary is not up to up to up to eighty thousand. All right, Joe. If you continue with having this point, a mansion of two hundred million, three hundred million. All right, fine. And you say we are not fighting corruption. Point taken. They will take it. Now, Dewale, from your own position, what is the ADP doing to you know correct the anomalies that Nigeria has had over the years to have corrupt individuals in the corridors of power? At the beginning, we are not allowing corrupt individuals into ADP that much we are doing. A lot of people have approached us and uh, we are very careful about who and who we allow into the party. And if you decide to come into the party, you must abide by our constitution, you must abide by the manifesto, you must be subjected to party supremacy 
because uh, it's not uh, somebody become a governor or a president and he become the leader of the party. It's not allowed in ADP. You are subject to the party. The party is supreme and the party tells you programs to carry out when you are in government. And uh, the young ones of today, they are ready to serve. They are really ready to serve and we are sure that they are going to serve well, better than uh, the older generation. And right. uh, one other thing we realize is that... Very briefly, we're out of time. APC and PDP are the same party. Okay, because before, prior to 2015, we had, you didn't have APC. And when APC came about, it was members from PDP that went into APC. So the present APC we have now is, is uh, you know, PDP. All right, and that's so, a fine place to live it at the Wale Balaji. Thank you very much for your time on Africa Today. And Joe Ibokwe, we appreciate your you. insights on thank the program you. as well. Thank you for having us. Intrigues, drama and excitement paints a picture of how the political momentum in Nigeria continues to build up ahead of 2019, almost two decades of the nation's uninterrupted democracy. The next election comes with another opportunity for the people to take their destinies in their hands, where correcting the mistakes of the past and eliminating the misdeeds of the present is just a voter's card away. But that is our package for tonight. But don't forget to join the conversation as usual on Twitter at TVC News NG. And follow me for updates around Africa at Esther TVC News. Until the next one, I am Esther Mokwariola. And always remember, Africa can only get better.